Okay, so uh, we were talking about <coughs> the range lookup, right? And we talked about uh, uh, true means approximate match and false means exact match, and that you can write one instead of true and uh, zero instead of uh, false. Okay, fine. So now what we'll do is we'll first start with false. This is the easier uh, you know, match, or the exact match, and we will start with this, right? And then we'll move to the exact match. I'm uh, uh, sorry, the, the approximate match. Okay, so now, as I said, we'll spread best to learn uh, with, <coughs> uh, with an example. So let's now start this V lookup, okay, V lookup lookup value so what is it that I'm looking up with so I'm looking up with 400 right and then table array so what is uh, the area which I'm interested in right the entire table uh, is what I want here and therefore uh, I'll write from B4 to F where uh, my data is and then as I said before uh, I'm interested in the price which is the third column so I write three right column gets number three and then the fourth one uh, as as we have seen true or false and this time we'll use false okay false and uh, the VLOOKUP is is complete. I mean, we have we have written the the, fun the function, and now we look up. will find out the price of the ID four hundred and give the result, right? Which is five seventy five. So you can see this four hundred. The price is five seventy five. Now, what we like to know now is how does we look up work when you write this function and press enter okay now before we do that some quick thing if I just change this false to zero you will get the same thing so false and zero they're the same thing okay <coughs> now let's understand how does B lookup work okay right Lookup value 400, table array B4 to F9, column index number F, uh, column index number 3, and then an exact match. So as soon as you type this and press enter, this is what happens. VLOOKUP starts looking for 400 in the first column. Okay, this is the first column. Right, so we look up. We'll start looking for 400 in the first column. How does it know where to start looking for? It will know that because I have told we look up that my area, my table array, is B4 to F9. So it goes straight to B4, right, and starts looking for 400 starts from B4, right? Now it asks, it finds and looks at 100 and says, is 100 equal to 400? No, it is not. So moves to the next row. Is 200 equal to 400? No, it's not. Move to the next. Is 300 equal to 400? No, it's not. Move to the next. Is 400 equal to 400? Yes, it is. Right? And VLOOKUP realizes that this is the row from which I'll have to pick up the price. I need not go further, I've got 400. Then it looks at the third parameter, which is three. So this is one, this is two, this is three. So it finds out that this is 575, it returns 575, and you have the answer as 575, okay? So this is how 
the exact match works right okay now what happens if i let's say instead of 400 i say 800 right and press enter i get an error right but now as i said we first look at how this thing works okay and then we'll understand why we get an error now as i said again it starts looking from d4 is 100 equal to 800 no it's not next row 200 is not equal to 800 next row 300 then 400 500 600 is it equal to 800 it's not and therefore you have you have run out of data there's no more data that's the end of the table array so excel says that you know the data is not available or in other words it says or it returns hash any error the data is not there okay so what happens now if i let's say uh, make this as uh, you know let's say 250 right 250 again i get an error why same reason is 100 equal to 200 no uh, i mean is, is 100 equal to 250 uh, no is 200 equal to 250 no is 300 equal to 250 no and so on and so forth reaches 600 right there is no 250 and returns this hash in a error okay so if you have the data in the first column of the table array then you get the corresponding value in the column that you're interested in otherwise otherwise meaning if the data if, if the lookup value is not present in the first column then you get an error right so with 300 you get 300 which is the price of 300 uh, with with let's say uh, 500 you get 600 which is the price of product ID uh, 500 correct and uh, 400 as we have seen gives me 575 okay now what if I want to find out the name of the product and not the price okay in this case you see the product name is in the second column right the second column so what I do is I say instead of column index number three I say it's two because now I'm interested in the product name which is the second column and Excel returns DDD which is the product name of the product with the ID 400 okay so that is that is how uh, you can find out the name from the ID uh, uh, instead of the price okay <coughs> now what do we do if we want to find out the price of the product whose name is CCC, right? Now, the previous example, we are, we are looking up with the ID. This time, we are looking up with the name of the product, right? And therefore, a few things have to be changed in the formula that you see right now on your screen. So let me delete this and start fresh. Okay, so <coughs> looking up with the name CCC. Now, when you are doing a text search in Excel, you have to put it within inverted commas. So there you have CCC within inverted commas. So you're asking Excel that look, you have to look up with CCC. Fine. Table array table array second parameter what would be the table array now remember excel will search only the first column the leftmost column of the table array right we had we were searching till this point we're searching for product id so we started the table array was d from column d d4 to f9 because the first column is d right the leftmost column is d right now we want excel to search in the column e product name that is the first column that is the leftmost column right now okay so in that case you will have to change table array from d4 
d4 to f9, so e4 to f9, because if you give e4 to f9, then column e becomes the first column or the leftmost column, and therefore VLOOKUP will search the, will start searching product name column. Okay, now for the third parameter, which is column index number. Okay, now that we have changed table array. Now this is the table array that we have from E4 to F9, which you see outlined in blue. So if product name is column number one and price is column number two, right? Price is column number two now instead of three. Why? Because we have changed the table array. So we need the price. You have to say column index number is two, and then fourth parameter which it said this is false we are going for exact match now we say zero and here we are so name ccc you have price 300 okay so that is how false or exact match works in the uh, <coughs> lookup okay um, We'll, we'll now next next uh, uh, video we we'll look at how uh, the approximate match works uh, in 